All right, hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today's moto vlog is gonna be about it's gonna be about picking yourself up when you make a mistake. You know that saying? It's like um, it's super cliche. Like you fall down seven times, you pick yourself up eight times. That's kind of what I'm gonna be talking about today. And um, like. What was that? There was something on the ground that caught my eye. Um, like, I told you guys, you saw the video, like, I fall down a lot. And the last time I fell down, I actually sprained my ankle. And I don't know if it was a sprain or a, a light fracture, but... I mean, my, my ankle still hurts and it's like a month later. I could, I could walk on it and everything, but I can't. I can't do any kind of... I can't do a lot. I, I don't want to say I can't do any kind of, but there's there's a lot of a lot of pain still, and it's it's all because like I fell down, and you know for some people when accidents happen it's super traumatizing, and you know and and this one was it was kind of traumatizing for me. I'm not gonna lie, like I fell down and I got super worried that uh, that I broke something and I was gonna be in debt because of my medical bills and stuff but for the most part I'm okay you know just to just sprain my ankle that, that stuff happens um, but you know for some people that would be enough to stay off of a motorcycle for you know for forever or to, like never pick that hobby up again um, but for me, motorcycle riding is something that I'm super passionate about, and my life just wasn't the same without riding, and of course you can be afraid every single time that you hop, hop back onto your bike just because of the, you know, the, the fear of, of you falling down again and, you know, getting hurt, but accidents happen, you know? Accidents happen whether they're your fault or not and this one just happened to be my fault and you know it just it's unfortunate because it's such a such an easy thing that I could have avoided but I just didn't have the I didn't have the the for, forward thinking to be like oh hey that's a dangerous situation let's not get ourselves into that but you know I didn't know it at the time but now that I've had you know ample amounts of time to reflect upon what happened you know, I realized what went wrong and, you know, I'll be less likely to make that mistake in the future. And, you know, if I make that same mistake again, then that's on me, but I should be smart enough to know, hey, like, let's not ever do that again. And that's probably the most important part of making mistakes and the most important part about, you know, living your life and going on adventures is figuring out what you do right and what you do wrong and why that happens. Because it's, you know, we don't have the protection that, that we, we have in life. Nothing's, nothing's just a, a bubble of safety. And, you know, if you do decide to live in your relatively comfortable and safe, you know, your safe space, then you're never growing. Because it takes, it takes discomfort to grow. It takes, you know, a certain amount of, you know certain amount of the unknown to, to grow and to, to really learn stuff. You're never going to learn anything new if you don't take any chances. And what I'm saying is you should be taking chances because nobody wants to live a boring life. And, you know, you should never, you should never settle for what you have. You should always be, you know, you should always be striving for more. And the way that I do more is I put myself out there. I try to do new things. I try to see new things, go to different places, and figure out what I like and don't like. And, you know, I want you guys to experience that same thing, too. You know, regardless of how, how uncomfortable it may be the first time. But are you really willing to miss out on all the joys that life has just because... You're afraid of falling down and spraining your ankle? No, like, 
it's silly. There's an inherent risk with everything. You just want to be able to mitigate that risk. You want to get up and you want to think about what happened and why that happened. What you could have done differently. And when you figure that what you could have done differently out, what, you know, that, that input that could have led to a better output, that's when you just say, okay, I'll remember that next time, and you drop it, and then you just move on. Because when you start dwelling on it, and you start taking pity on yourself, and you start worrying about it the next time, and the next time, and the next time, you're going to keep yourself pigeonholed to the safety of, you know, being stagnant. And I don't want that to happen to you guys, and I don't want that to happen to me, so I want you guys to keep me in check. So that's why, like, that's why I'm making this video. If you see that I'm not taking the risks, and I'm not going out there, I'm doing stuff that's comfortable, like, just say, just call me out. Just say, hey, no one, do more camping videos, do more off-roading videos, you know, take a risk. Because I'll really appreciate that, and that's really why I started this channel, was to to bring you guys, you know, a cool, a cool, a cool channel filled with content that you want to watch and that you're happy with watching. And, you know, seeing the same thing every single day is boring. That's why, you know, that's why I'm taking a different route, you know, that I would never take is because I want to show you guys different things. This is, happens to be Old Town Temecula. That's what we drove through right now. Established in 1859. Um, it's a small street that pretty much spans about two or three blocks, about a, about a half mile from end to end, a bunch of old shops. But this is something that I haven't shown you guys before. And, you know, that's what keeps things interesting is you guys seeing different cool stuff. Like, oh man, chose the wrong line here should have went around that guy but that's what keeps that's what keeps you guys here and that's what keeps life interesting for all of us like I have I'll tell you what I've never in my 24 years of being on this planet I have never gone down this road so we're going down it together and really like that's what it's about is like saying hey I've never been there I've never done that let me go do it and that's what, you know, that's what I want to do with you guys. That's, that's, that's kind of what it is. And I'm kind of, kind of straying away from the making mistakes. But really, that's what you're risking if you don't want to get out there. You don't want to pick yourself back up. You, you shy away from all the possibility for, for having a good time and being successful in, in new endeavors. And... Los Ranchitos. And I don't want you guys to be pigeonholed into anything. And I don't want you guys to live a stagnant lifestyle. Because that's no fun. And that's not what life's about. And if that is what life... Jeez. Dang it. Well, I guess I'm to my backup camera. If that's what life's about for you, then... Hey, more power to you. But it's just not my lifestyle. But since my main camera died, you know, I just want to say that take a risk every once in a while. Get your blood flowing and figure out what you're really passionate about and chase it. If you make a mistake, pick yourself back up. But while, while you're dusting yourself off, figure out what you could have done differently. And that's the big difference between falling down and staying down and falling up. <laughs> falling up. Yeah, I guess we can call it that. Falling upwards. But anyways, guys, that kind of rounds everything out. Sorry about the, the video cutting out, but thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day, and until next time, peace out.